Hi Libra, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you your monthly tarot reading for the month of December 2020 to finish off this crazy year. And I do want to take this moment to express my gratitude and appreciation for all of your likes and comments and subscriptions. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe to this wonderful channel. And uh, I meditated on your energy before beginning this reading, you know, for the month overall. And the message that came through was, uh, things are about to change. Things are about to change. How exciting. But let's get started. Let's first begin by pulling a message or two from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. What do we have for our lovely Libras? That was quick. What else do we have? Thank you, Spirit. For our lovely Libras. You know I always enjoy your readings. Because I'm a Leo Libra Libra. So it resonates with me, not just you. Well, that was weird. But we're not taking them. But I'll swear for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have several. Not surprised. And I feel they need to take this as well. Butterfly Spirit Transformation is beautiful. This came out in, I want to say, Aquarius's reading. You're transforming in a beautiful way these days. And I feel like you're starting to spread your wings and fly in the month of December. And at the very least, if you feel like you can't fully spread your wings and fly just yet, it's happening the very least when the new year starts we are definitely taking this card and then we have let's just push these over seahorse spirit watch and wait it feels like things are about to change like the overall message says things are about to transform in a beautiful way you know your luck is changing you might feel like a karmic cycle is coming to an end or about to so they're saying just watch and wait as it doesn't mean you know, stop working towards what you've been working towards and kind of sit back. But no need to stress. Watch and wait as things unravel in an amazingly beautiful way. And then we have Canary Spirit, sing your own song. It feels like with all opinions and um, voices and kind of a lot of noise happening around you or coming towards you, it may feel difficult at times to sing your own song or to get your voice out there. But I do feel like Libras are doing a much better job these days, especially in the month of December, at getting their voice out there in one way, shape, or form. And they're saying, do your very best to sing that beautiful song. Get your voice out there because it needs to be heard because you're so unique. And then we have Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. Ooh, this is an intense card. And I do feel like something a situation or somebody or a group of people in the past months have somehow stripped your power away maybe made you feel less powerful than you are and that's not a very good sign but look at how the, my mood ring is matching this card right now you need to take your power back it's a month where even if you feel like you can't fully you're preparing for it so once again when the new year starts you can take back your life 100%. Take back that power and again, or not again, but hop into that driver's seat and um, drive towards all of the successes you have ahead of you. Beautiful. You might be feeling very serious though. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. I don't feel like this is be loyal to who you love because it says what. I do feel like there's a project or a business or whatever you've been working towards that you've fallen in love with that you're very passionate about. And Spirit's coming through with this card to remind you to be loyal to it and don't give up on it because it's about to be a huge part of why things are changing and transforming in an amazing way. We're going to just take those six. Eight popped out, but that's a lot to begin. Let's continue by pulling six tarot cards. A simple six card spread, if you will. One shuffle. And a second shuffle. Shuffle. 
You're not taking that. We're going to just throw that on in the middle. What do we have for our lovely Libras to continue this month of greed for December? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, I don't think we mentioned this one. Parrot Spirit, watch your words. I'm so sorry I missed one. It, it may feel like people are testing you these days or a situation is uh, kind of pulling out a worse side of you or feels a bit toxic or unhealthy. So just try to watch your words when it comes to those situations. Tread carefully. Think twice before you speak, essentially. It's a good reminder for everybody, but especially this month for you Libras or us Libras. What else do we have? This doesn't surprise me at all. You want me to just pull the last two from the top? Okay. All right, so the Hermit. Ahaha. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You are getting ready, or at the very least this month, leaving behind what no longer works for you. There is a situation that is just so unhealthy, whether you want to change it or accept it or not. And so it's a month where you are starting, or at the very least will um, fully walk away and head towards a brighter future because things are changing remember we're about to so get ready and then so to start we have the hermit card i'm not surprised i feel like libras are kind of irritated or frustrated with people these days or maybe you know there's just that situation that isn't amazing or isn't ideal and it's leaving you feeling like you just need to be in your own energy you want to kind of maintain that inner peace, you know, maintain that uh, sort of balance that you've developed or are trying to hold on to in your life. And I feel like there is, once again, a lot of noise and a lot of opinions and hecticness around you. And so you just sort of decide to be one with your own energy and just focus on where you're heading on what you're about to achieve and how good things are about to be. But it's side by side with this watch your words, you know, the parrot spirit that we were talking about. And I do feel like because you're all set with other people's energy, because you're just doing your own thing, it can rub other people the wrong way. It shouldn't, but it might. And so they're just saying tread carefully when it comes to those situations when you're doing your own thing. Because you may come out of hermit mode and accidentally kind of snap on somebody or on a situation. It's just like, just think twice, you know, you don't want to worsen a situation as things are getting better or about to. The two of swords to move right along to the middle of the first half of the month. And it feels like you don't have all the answers yet. You may feel a bit blinded to where you're heading, where things are, how things are about to unravel. And I believe this came out in Gemini's reading, but just try to trust in the mystery, trust in your path and the universe. You know, you have your spirit guides in your, um, uh, those are not representing your spirit guides. I'm so sorry. Uh, try to just, again, trust in where you're heading and the fact that things are about to change and unravel as the new year begins, as you enter into this new phase of your life. And the reason I stop myself is because these crows are representing the noise and the hecticness and the opinions coming through from other people and situations in your life. And you're just like, oh, please stop. You know, it's making it harder for you to just sort of be peaceful and at ease. And, and then people wonder why, you know, we end up in hermit mode. It's pretty clear to us, isn't it? And to move right along, we have the Knight of Swords. But again, you're such a strong sign, Libra, that even with all that you go through, even with all of the stress and hecticness that you're dealing with and all of those people trying to tell you how to live, you're left charging after your dreams. And in a sense, maybe part of it is that you're trying to run away from a certain situation or certain people in your life. You remember we had that eight of, uh, eight of cups? I'm getting a very similar vibe. It just feels like at certain parts in the month, you're very peaceful about walking away from them. And then, you know, when things feel more hectic and 
uh, people stress you out or situations stress you out, you start to run. You're, you're charging after it. You're kind of sick of whatever is, you know, stressing you out. And Spirit's saying that's okay. You know, run after it. Just don't burn yourself out. Things will happen when they're meant to. Divine timing. And now this crow is coming through as your spirit guide. You know, or spirit guides always being there with you, guiding you and protecting you and making sure that you uh, make your way to this ideal destination as things do start to change. To start the second half of the month in spread, we have the Knight of Pentacles. You may not love it, but your finances are moving quite slowly, but they are improving and you're moving towards financial comfort, growing that financial harvest. It just might feel like, ugh, I have all these financial goals that are tied to this change, to this new beginning, and you want them to happen quicker. But you sort of just need to trust and allow for things to develop as they will and as they should. And it's side by side with this seahorse spirit and watch and wait and allow yourself to, as things move a bit slower than you need to, but are still growing, watch and wait. It doesn't mean stop working towards it. It doesn't mean stop, you know, doing whatever you're doing to improve your finances. But allow yourself to kind of have that patience as you watch and wait and keep moving towards uh, what feels like a lot of abundance, a lot of financial comfort in your future. It may feel like it doesn't kind of sink in or hit, you know, that full financial comfort. I feel like a few months into the new year. But just wait, it's more than you ex are expecting at this point. The Ace of Wands to move on to the middle of the second half of the month. And you're left feeling very, very intuitive. I feel like your thoughts are on fire. And it your intuition has been growing and snowballing recently. And that's just going to continue as you make your way into the new year. And it's just like, but you're so peaceful where you kind of, I feel like you are trusting in the process. Just at times you get a little impatient because you want things to develop and change quicker. But at this point in the month, you most definitely are just like, you know what? It is what it is. And it's aligned with this two of swords. And I feel like whoever and whatever is causing you the stress and making so much noise, you kind of just accept it. You you just kind of try to be, again, that hermit and go within and try to maintain the inner peace and contentment. Try to maintain or restore that balance in your life. But also make sure you're trusting your intuition this month with whoever or whatever is... Uh, putting up a facade or feeling false to you or, or at the very least with where you're heading and, and what you're about to achieve and then we have the moon card to finish off the month and they're taking me back they're saying your intuition your gut feeling will always guide you wherever you need to go you know it's a beautiful pairing when you start to trust your intuition and your spirit guides in the universe to pair those together and trust all of which is a whole, you will never ever be led in the wrong direction. You'll only end up with beautiful success in the future. So keep that in mind. So the moon card to finish off the month. I do feel like you kind of feel like you may have lost a little bit of that balance by the end of the month. You feel like, you know, you're a bit stressed about where you're heading or stressed about whatever situation you've been dealing with or have been wrapped up in and you're trying to either get out of that situation or just make your way to better and bigger things maybe feel like you need a fresh start altogether or just in one area of your life but they're saying try not to stress yourself out too much because I do feel like for Libras carrying through you know it'll change I feel like in the new year but Throughout December, you know, you can't be done just yet with some of those stresses and irritations. So do what you can to step back and meditate and ground yourself and clear your mind and all that chaos. And again, don't stress yourself out on top of all the other stresses in your life. And I'm seeing this as things are coming full circle. This karmic cycle, it may feel like for a lot of you, is ending. People may feel like, or Libras may feel like recently, like, I don't want to be a Libra. I don't want to put that, take that and throw it out the window because moving into the new year, everyone's going to want to be a Libra. You'll see. And it's aligned with this Knight of Swords. And I feel like you 
trying to charge after what you want, trying to achieve this next chapter of your life leaves you a bit anxious at times, especially at the end of the month. But I do feel like you'll do a good job at uh, coping with it, at trying to simplify things for yourself. So trusting in your methods, because you know yourself best, don't you? Let's continue by pulling a message or two from the Soul's Journey deck. What do we have for Libra to continue this monthly read? Thank you, Spirit. Love it. Oh, and as we were talking about needing more balance. Love it. All right, we got three. Ooh, failure. And I feel like relationships, I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. You, again, are so intuitive these days, Libra, or just in general. And so you know who... It, is good for you and what group, groups of people are not. So trust that. And as you move into a brighter, happier chapter of your life, uh, moving into the new year, you, you need to decide who is coming with you and who doesn't have a place. You don't need other people tainting this beautiful next chapter of your life as things start to change. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. I really don't feel like these are failures in the month of December. I do feel like these are this is speaking upon some small or even big failures from your past. It maybe led you to this not so ideal situation. And they're saying just learn from it, grow from it, take that into the future, that wisdom, so that you can maybe make better decisions or avoid some of these, uh, what they're calling failures as you move along. We all, nobody's perfect. So stop expecting yourself to be. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Be proud of what you've accomplished up to this point, Libra. Be proud of you and who you are and who you're becoming as you transform and take back that power of your life. Because you're accomplishing so much, even if it doesn't feel like it at times. Be proud. And I do feel like people are going to start to see this pride kind of develop more through the month, throughout the month of December. It may feel like all eyes are on you at times, even when you're trying to be a hermit, because you're changing and growing and you're proud of yourself. Gratitude for the fourth one. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I do feel like at times because of the situation you're in, it doesn't feel ideal. It's hard to feel grateful. It's hard. Or maybe you come off ungrateful at times when you don't mean to. But at the end of the day, just try to center yourself, ground yourself, and clear the chaos in your mind, even if you can't clear the chaos around you, in order to feel more grateful as you move into this beautiful next chapter of your life. Let's finish this off by pulling a message or two from the Making Magic deck. I mean, shocker that Libra has an amazing reading. What else is new? What do we have for Libra to finish off this monthly reading? Thank you, Spirit. Yep. There we go. I'm saying put this one back. I'm just going to go with those three. Dragonfly, you bring light to this world. You absolutely do. Because you need to make sure you're in a healthy, bright mindset, optimistic mindset, so that you can move forward into the new year and continue to shine that bright light for all. Because you help people in that sense, even if you don't fully realize it. Triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. As you grow and change and things are about to change dramatically for you in a huge, huge way, embrace all aspects of you and even the unhealthy aspects of you in your life, you know, so that you can move forward and keep making these healthy changes. Self-confidence, strong self-belief and a sense of worth. Yes, you're becoming more and more confident, allowing your self-worth to side by side with it grow and snowball and develop. So do not stop believing in you. Because spirit in the universe believes in you 1000%. So match that confidence that they have in you. Sun. The golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. Love it. As you start to shine more these, these days in December and moving into the new year, you can expect things to change in a huge way once again, bringing you fame and fortune. 
So mentally prepare yourself because there's so many good things to come, my friend. So many good things. So with that said and done, uh, if you haven't yet, do subscribe to this wonderful channel. And again, I appreciate your likes and your comments. So do just that. And I hope you have the most amazing month and I will see you next time. Bye, Libra.